safety is number one at the top of our mind as we're out there living the RV life. And it should be something that you're concerned with too. In this video, we're gonna talk about RV safety and some do's and don'ts. So stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. After four plus years of living RV life, we've run into some things and into a few scenarios that could have been a potential safety hazard if we weren't equipped with what we are equipped with. So in this video, we wanted to talk with you about our top safety gadgets that we carry with us and also some must do preventative things that can help make sure that you don't put yourself into a potential safety issue while you're out there living RV life. So one thing that we recently have actually purchased when it comes to safety are some road flares. Now we have driven at night, we've driven during the day and we've come around a plenty turn or two and seen a vehicle disabled in the road or seen an RV pulled off on the side of the road with a flat tire. And when you're driving at night and you can't see that, that's a pretty big potential safety issue. So we recently got these safety flares from Hokena online. They were nice enough to provide us a set of these for a giveaway over in our Patreon group, but these are actually LED flares. So they can be reused and they're way brighter than the traditional flares that are like the sticks that you break, but then you have to dispose of them when you're done. So we are pretty happy with getting these because this is definitely going to be nice if we ever need it, which we definitely hope that we don't, but we have them in case we need them. And we'll put a link for these in the description below. They come in a nice case, so very easy to store away in your RV. Now, no safety video would be complete without talking about fire extinguishers. Now, we'll put a link above to a video where we actually came around the corner at night and there was a car fully engulfed in flames and we pulled over on the side of the road, one to call for help, but two to see if there was anything we could do to help with fire extinguishers. We have seen this multiple times now in our four plus years of living the RV life where a car has been on the side of the road on fire. Plus the fact that if a fire starts in your RV, you don't have a lot of time. So not only do we carry a fire extinguisher, we carry multiples of these now. We store these kind of in different areas, some in the front, some in the middle of the rig, and some in the back of the rig. We'll put a link in the description below to fire extinguishers on Amazon. But the other thing to remember with a fire extinguisher is you want something that's larger capacity. A lot of RVs, when you purchase it, if you purchase it new, they come with a fire extinguisher, but it's pretty small. And you want something with larger capacity if for any reason you would ever need to use it. Having some of these on board is an absolute must. So another thing that your RV actually comes equipped with, if you have any sort of propane appliances, whether you have a propane stove or a fridge that runs on electric and propane is a propane detector. Now, here's the important thing that you need to know. These are rated for 10 years. If you have a rig that is 10 years or older and you have not replaced that, you are at a potential risk for a malfunction of that device. You can pull it out of wherever it's mounted to, look at the date code on the back, and see if it is beyond its useful life. If it is, you need to replace it. You can order them on Amazon. You can find them at most camping supply type stores. They're pretty universal. So just look at what type of unit you have and then replace it with one that is up to date and make sure that yours is not expired. Another absolute must when it comes to RV safety is a tire pressure monitoring system. Now we use this one from TST and here's the important thing. People usually think about the tire pressures on their RV, but not always on their tow vehicle if they're towing a vehicle behind. Most new vehicles have some sort of tire pressure monitor built in, but 
it doesn't tell you when you're driving your RV what it is. So this is constantly monitoring the tire pressures on all six of our RV tires and those of the tires on our Jeep but it's also monitoring the temperature of the tires. So this actually has built-in settings. You can choose it to alarm if you go over or under a certain pressure or over or under a certain tire temp. This is actually alarmed on us quite frequently this summer in colder climates because the tires, when they're colder, will drop in air pressure and need air added into them in a colder climate. So this is a great potential blowout avoidance tool. We'll put a link for this particular one in the description below because we can say this is tried and true. We've been using it for over two years. I've had zero issues with it and it does its job very accurately. Another must have is a good quality roadside service. So you can check out the link above for our recent breakdown story, which was not fun. We used Good Sam for our roadside service for that particular instance. We've since found out we also have roadside through our insurance with no cap, which that's important to remember and know, so check with your insurance on that, but make sure you're covered. If you need roadside on any type of RV, whether it be a fifth wheel, travel trailer, or drivable motorhome, it's expensive, people, and you do not want to incur a $900 tow bill like a friend of ours recently did for an eight mile tow on a class A motorhome because he didn't have roadside assistance. Do yourself a favor, make sure you have coverage through your insurance or get a standalone roadside assistance policy if your insurance doesn't cover you. Now here are some things that you want to keep in mind from a safety perspective as you're driving. These aren't necessarily products that you need to have. These are just things you need to know to be safe while you're going down the road. Know your height and your weight of your RV. We actually have a label that we made that we put right on the dash where we know our height. So if we're coming up to a bridge that looks iffy, we can see what the clearance is and we know exactly how high we are if we're gonna clear that bridge okay. We've heard horror stories, you guys, of people taking off their roof ACs, of people damaging their roofs, going underneath of a bridge or overpass that they didn't have the clearance on because they didn't know exactly how high that they were. You don't want to make that same mistake. Have something that has your height written on it right where you can see it as you're driving to avoid any potential issues from there. It's also very important to know your weight and what your RV's rated for. We have talked to so many RV owners that are overweight with their travel trailers and their fifth wheels, and they have to constantly make sure that they're not bringing too much in that's going to put them overweight. With our particular rig, it's built in 2004. It's a class A diesel pusher. We could put a ton in it and not be overweight, but we do still check our weight at a cat scale every so often just to be on the safe side and to make sure that we are not overweight and we haven't been yet. We'll keep making sure we monitor that, but that's something you absolutely need to be aware of, especially if you are towing a travel trailer or fifth wheel. Speaking of towing, make sure that you understand weight distribution and how that that works. You want most of the weight towards the front of your vehicle and not towards the back of that tow vehicle. There's tons of videos out there about weight distribution and how just the whole physics of that work. But needless to say, if your weight distribution's off, you are at a potential for an accident. Make sure that you understand weight distribution, how that it works with your particular setup and that you have the weight distributed in such a way that you're not creating a potential issue for a rollover accident as you're going down the road. The last thing we wanted to make sure that we let you guys know about when it comes to RV safety is speed. Guys, it's about enjoying the journey. There is no rush to get there. <laughs> All tires have an actual speed rating. Check the sidewall. They actually have a rating for speed. Make sure you're not exceeding that. You do not want to have a blowout or a potential tire issue just because you decided to be Mario Andretti. Take your time, observe the speed limits, but 
If your tire is rated for less than the speed limit, we go 65 all the time, just because for us, that's where our optimum fuel economy is, and we're not going to be exceeding any sort of speed rating by keeping it right there. And we just take it slow and enjoy the journey and know that we're doing so in a safe manner. So educate yourself and make sure that you're doing the right thing when it comes to how fast that you're driving your RV or towing your RV. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below, what are some safety recommendations that you have that you've discovered as you've been living RV life? Let us know below. It also lets others in the RV community know too, as they go through the comments and read them too. We'd love to hear what you're doing from a safety perspective, or maybe some experiences that you've had in the past that led you to make a change in your RV safety plan. Turn this on and it has all these modes. And I'm trying to turn it off. That's like half. That's a little flashlight. Okay. Now it's off. I can put it back in the bag. <laughs> There's a fly on the lens. Don't forget the temperature. Let me work. He doubts me. Is that even a term? Potential blowout avoidance tool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin a new phrase. Potential blowout avoidance tool right here. If you got anything out of this video, please hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed. We have some really fun videos coming up for you guys that you don't wanna miss. So make sure that you tap that little bell that you get notified when a new video releases. If you'd like to see more videos like this with RV tips and tricks and things to keep you safe, check those out right over here. And if you'd like to see more fun places to travel and the things that you wanna put on your travel planning list, check those out right over here. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.